Hi friends, welcome to Ahilu Arts channel. This is Uma. In this video, it's just an instruction video how um, how to use your um, scrape yarn, um, leftover yarn, what you have and you don't know what to make and you know all the patterns but you want to practice those patterns. So this is gonna be a great opportunity for uh, um, both practicing as well as uh, using up your scrape yarn. Okay, so this is just a iPad cover I did for uh, my class um, for kids uh, this summer class for kids so they have just la uh, learnt um, cluster stitch puff stitch and bubble stitch and shell stitch so we have done um, I have given them a project with uh, using all the four stitches so this is my version of what we are doing and uh, they are practicing in their own uh, yarn so once I finished I just wanted to share this with you uh, if you know I will share all the links of these um, stitches in the description and if you've practiced the, if you know the stitch but you wanted more practice and you have more leftover yarn you don't know what to do you can just take this up and do okay this is the cluster stitch I have done I have measured my iPad um, you, ca you can measure your own iPad with the cover what you are using so okay that way it will be more fit for your uh, uh, personal um, iPad or tablet or anything that for that matter okay so I have measured uh, my own iPad with the cover the big cover so that it will save <laughs> it will be saved from my uh, kids so uh, so for that front side I have started with the foundation chain and uh, continued the cluster stitch okay so once that cluster stitch is done I have done one two three four five six seven rows of cluster stitch and you all know that cluster stitch will always comes with a single crochet row right so um, after done all this I have done single crochet so that the base of the cover will be uh, more tight and more uh, safe so that this is the this is the place where the iPad will sit in so I wanted this to be more safe so I have done um, some 8 rows of single crochet in there so I have done this as a continuous um, row wise so after that um, since to practice puff stitch I have done again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 rows of puff stitch and we all know puff stitch always comes with a row of single crochet and this will form a great um, gap and you can see actually see the pattern which is sitting in right so this is how I have done continued you can see here I have done cluster stitch and here I have done um, puff stitch uh, cluster stitch is of seven rows but uh, puff stitch is of uh, eight rows uh, the reason is that puff stitch will be a little bit um, smaller than cluster so um, in order to match the size because this size this side should be equal to the this side right so that um, I have um, made six rows of puff stitch and continued so now I wanted a flap once I reach the required size for uh, covering both sides of my iPad I wanted a flap so so that I can practice uh, I, I mean uh, my kids can practice um, not my kids my students can practice the bubble stitch and the shell stitch as well so after doing the same eight rows of half double crochet you we all know um, um, uh, to do bubble stitch we have to do a half double crochet right so this gives you a, a great look instead of a single crochet if you do half double crochet it will be of great um, look because of the extra loop okay so I have done some six rows of um, half double crochet and uh, my after that my scrape yarn <laughs> died um, so I have used one other bundle of my scrape yarn to do the bubble stitch and shell stitch okay um, when I do the bubble I can place my bubble any anywhere I want I will share the uh, tutorial of bubble stitch what we have done and the shell stitch also so this is a simple pattern we have followed throughout the uh, throughout the project and after that is done I have joined I have started from here I have joined these two sides because it can be of great um, it can be of um, 
um, few holes or openings because it's anyway it's the iPad is gonna sit in there so there is no way it's gonna fall down within this hole so what I have done is I have started from here and started doing a half double crochet because single crochet will be too small to hold this big stitches and uh, double crochet will be too um, messy and too um, loose for that matter to hold off this stitch to uh, uh, more, much tighter so I have done half double crochet, uh, crochet started from here and continued as a border in this side so that I can I do not have to cut the yarn and join it from here to continue the border so half double crochet all the way through the end you don't have to count the number of stitches that this has to be same as that this side it doesn't matter uh, if the count mismatches it's not a not a problem okay so uh, you see this yarn um, I have gotten from one of my friends who wanted to get rid of all her um, leftover yarns so she gave it to me and this is so uh, I don't know what brand she bought but this is so uh, rough and so um, it's not even soft um, it's like a um, wire in fact so I don't want to do any clothing or any hat or anything to touch the body so I just wanted to do something else uh, that I can use uh, in fact so that's why I've come up with the iPad idea okay so this has uh, if you want the count again I told you I have used your own um, tablet to for the measurements but if you want the count I have done uh, 31 stitches make sure whatever you do always do with the uh, odd number okay so that you will be having a, a border stitch on this side and this side that's the only thing you have to make sure you have to do a, a even number chain uh, so that you will have odd number stitch after the first row and continue the beautiful pattern okay so try this out share your pictures actually um, um, in either in Facebook group or Facebook page or you can tag uh, tag Ahilu Arts uh, in the Instagram and share your pictures mm, do share okay so let me know how it turned out uh, um, if you want to do this as a cal uh, you drop me a message and we can do it as a uh, crochet along also okay see you bye ah <laughs> I forgot but you don't forget to Subscribe, like and share. Never forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video. Thank you. Bye-bye.